Your objective is to work as a team to reach the next sequence. Score before the timer runs out. Once again, thank you for the introduction, Animus Lady. Hello there, everybody. This is Norris, and I am once again bringing you an Assassin's Creed 3 Wolfpack gameplay. And it's kind of ironic, well, not really ironic, but funny how, you know, same map, same persona. Considering how I normally title these videos, I'd have two videos with the same title, because that's always fun to deal with. But anyways, yes, I am bringing you another Wolfpack gameplay. I am playing on the Boston Harbor map, and I am playing as the Lady Maverick Persona. And I kind of wanted to talk about something different with this commentary, in that I sort of wanted to give my opinions on how I think the game has turned out. It's been out for a little over a month now, so I guess now's the time where everybody's sort of getting settled, sort of figuring, sort of done figuring out the uh, mechanics behind the game and sort of finding out uh, the style that they'd like to use with how they do things. And I don't know, I guess now that everybody's sort of starting to get settled, starting to figure out how to do things as I completely screw up with trying to run through this chase breaker right. I don't know, I'm stupid sometimes, but anyways, yes, just kind of wanted to give my opinions about the game and stuff. And I have to say, it, um, well, let's just go on ahead and get this out of the way. Compared to Revelations, it is better by leaps and bounds. They have improved a lot of things, whether it be through game balance or just general issues that I feel were a little bit too prevalent in Revelations. But saying that, the game still has a lot of problems. I have experienced plenty of glitches and just some absurd amounts of lag at points. But I would still say that it is better than Revelations. Whether or not it's the best multiplayer experience out there, I'm still not entirely too sure. And I say that there are problems because... Like I said, there have been glitches. Some of them have been glitches that have existed since Brotherhood. And it's kind of annoying knowing that they've had so much time to fix these things, yet they still remain in the game. And there's no reason for it. But, um... I'll get into that later. Uh, basically, um... What it comes down to is... Just general mechanics that I don't really like about this game. They existed in Revelations as well, they came back in this game, and they were things that I just didn't really like. And um, I guess that's something more towards just my opinion rather than an issue with the game, but I still find it kind of annoying whenever I run into these kinds of situations. And um, I would, I'd have to say, I think the biggest issue that I'm having so far is just basically the amount of inconsistency that the game tends to have. If you played Revelations and if you played this uh, game for any stretch of time, then you know what I'm talking about when I say inconsistencies. And it has more to do with the actual game mechanics than it does with things, say, like lag or glitches, even though they do play a part in it sometimes. Um, for example, I would have to say things like using abilities in the middle of kill or stun animations or whatever. When Revelations first came out, I actually kind of enjoyed this this uh, new mechanic. It sort of made it so that uh, some guy didn't just wait until you were busy dealing with other pursuers to come in and get a free, easy free kill off of you or whatever. But as time progressed, I found it to be more and more annoying. And it was sort of a little bit unfair to the pursuer, I would have to say. And that, I think, sort of led to a lot of other issues. Like, um, if you didn't know, uh, it generally, I'm not entirely sure if this is the case, but it generally felt as though things like offensive smoke bombing sort of went up a little bit. Like, the amount of times that people were doing it just sort of gradually increased in Revelations as compared to Brotherhood. And. I wouldn't say that offensive smoke bombing in Revelations or in Assassin's Creed 3 is a big deal. Um, the reason mainly being is just because of the buffs that defense has gotten as compared to how it was in Brotherhood. In Brotherhood, I despise offensive smoke bombing. It is the cheapest tactic and it is just downright appalling whenever someone uses it there. 
but that's because offense already has this natural advantage over defense. There is no contested kill, there is no equal range when it comes to killing or stunning, so... You know, it kind of makes sense that uh, using something like Smoke Bomb just to give the defense the advantage that they need over the offense, it um, sort of balanced things out because defense, it still ended up weaker in the long run because it wasn't something that they could rely on all the time. It had a cooldown, it was a short cooldown, but it still had a cooldown, you couldn't do it all the time, so you had to be careful with what situations you used it in. And a lot of, and uh, the way that uh, the ability was balanced, you couldn't throw it, and it actually had a delay. So there are actually a lot of instances where you'd end up getting killed through it, because an actual really effective way of being able to counter a smoke bomb would be to just sort of rush in there in the last second, because it would catch the target off guard, they'd throw the bomb too late, the delay would take effect, and the pursuer would actually manage to kill him through it. And I think that with the way that they had designed Smoke Bomb, it was a powerful ability, but it wasn't exactly overpowered because of the fact that you couldn't throw it and because of the fact that there was a delay. That sort of balanced things out when it came to um, how the ability worked because it actually had, I'm sure you know, a short range. The only reason why it can be used effectively at range is because now you can throw it. And that's another thing that I tend to have problems with. I'm not exactly the biggest fan of throwable abilities. I, I haven't since Revelations. I've always found it to be ridiculously cheap when someone could just go on ahead and throw a smoke bomb from like halfway across the field that you're in and just mosey on up and kill you and you can't do anything about it. Now you sort of can with enemy shield, but you kind of have to be careful about the timing of it and... Um, Basically, you just have to be a little bit cautious with that, but yeah, they have built in uh, counters for that that you can use, but it isn't something that you can heavily rely on, and it just created a lot of issues for me. I didn't like the throwable abilities, and I was kind of disappointed to see that they'd be making a return for this game. And actually, with the revelations, um, what really drove smoke bombs over the edge were the fact that um, in a patch they had actually gotten rid of the delay. And I'm not sure if you used smoke bombs pre-patch, they were still pretty powerful. I mean, still the strongest abilities in the game without a doubt. And um, just getting rid of that delay, I mean it already had a very short delay, I'm pretty sure it was shorter than it was in Brotherhood. But just getting rid of that delay just made it all the more powerful and just completely broke through the ability in general and um, they sort of uh, just kind of kept that in this game and uh, I don't know I guess just adjusting the cooldown I wouldn't really say that it's quite enough to make sure that it's balanced granted again animus shield makes you immune to all that stuff and yada 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 and I haven't really played around with it too much but I don't know, given the circumstances, I kind of feel as though Animus Shield could be a little bit too powerful itself. I mean, just complete immunity from all abilities. That could... I mean, that's something that could bypass any and every defense that someone can put up. That sounds just a little bit too strong, in my opinion. Granted, with the balances between offense and defense, uh, I guess it could sort of make sense, but... Again, offense in this game and in every game still has just a little bit more of an advantage over defense. But um, I guess that's something else that I would say I'm not particularly a huge fan of. Um, in Brotherhood, I really like the fact that offense had this huge advantage over defense. How it was so much more stronger than defense, just the way it was. And um, that sort of uh, made you, I guess, fear your pursuer, as you were supposed to. You were supposed to feel as though there was someone hunting you down, trying to kill you. And it was something that you were supposed to constantly be cautious of and be aware of and constantly look out for. Because if you didn't, you're dead. And, um, I don't know, with Revelations, they sort of got rid of that. Because with the way that it was balanced... With the contested kills, making stun have the same range as uh, kill, all that stuff, it just sort of made the concept of pursuers 
Just something that you put on the back burner. It's not something you particularly care about too much. If you run into a pursuer, you could always just contest them and you'd get the 100 points and you'd knock down any score that they could get. And I don't know, that would just... It's just something that used to bother... It's actually still something that kind of bothers me. It's not too prevalent in this game with the, the changes that they made to the... Um, compass in that it doesn't automatically go back down to discrete as soon as you make your kill. I like that change. That's a good change, uh, in my opinion. It um, provides incentives for people to, to keep trying to go for low profile kills because it makes it a more viable option. You have the shorter kill animation which makes it more likely that you'll be able to kill multiple targets in a short amount of time because, again, shorter kill animation. And um, I think that was a really good idea, and that was an improvement over Revelations, and I would dare say that it's probably one of the best improvements that I've seen. But um, whether or not it's something that can actually save the game, I'm not entirely sure, because, I don't know, I don't really have too much fun playing this game. At least by myself. This isn't one of those games where I particularly enjoy going in there by myself and just playing with the people and all that stuff because I would have to say one of the biggest things that really ruins this game would have to be its player base. Sorry, but you're all jerks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you've had to deal with some annoying people, you can find that this game gives them the option to be the biggest jerks you will ever run into. People can screw you over in this game like no other game that I've played, and it can get very annoying constantly having to deal with people, but um, yeah, it's probably going to be one of those games where I'll try and play it by myself from time to time, but if I do play it, it's probably going to be with friends, because that's usually the only time where... I find that I'm really enjoying myself and not constantly being frustrated by whether it be the glitches, the lag, the iffy mechanics. I'm not going to say they're just flat out bad. Uh, they're sort of stuck in the middle for me because they're definitely improved from Revelations, but they could still do with some working in my opinion. But um, I would have to say yeah, the biggest issue would probably be just the annoying people that you constantly run into when playing this game. But uh, Wolfpack, I actually really enjoy. I don't have any problems with Wolfpack. I would have to say the only thing that I run into in Wolfpack that I find kind of annoying is sort of the layouts between the spawns of targets. It always seems like you're always in line of sight of somebody and that can make it hard on uh, maps that are a little bit larger, a little bit more open because uh, you're constantly trying to close the distance as soon as possible because this is a game mode that really focuses on team coordination if you're playing with the team and really focuses on being quick but also being efficient. You have to be fast with your kills but you also have to make sure that they count because if you don't you're gonna fail, you're not gonna make it to the end. And, um, I don't know, I kind of, like, I really like this game mode. I, I know I'm going all over the place with this, but, uh, I don't know, I guess this is one of those types of commentaries where I just don't give a crap. But, um, yeah, it's a really enjoyable game mode. I really like it a lot, and, uh, it's great if you can play it with friends. Uh, really great, you can have a lot of fun, and I'd really recommend it just in case you haven't played it already. But um, if you play it with randoms, I have yet to do that actually. I've always played it with friends because I've, I've experienced the amounts of torture the randoms can put you through in team games. And in a game like this, where having good coordination and good teamwork is so vital to just even making it at least to the end of the end of the um, sequences, sequence 25, completing the game and all that stuff, not even just doing really well with the game, just trying to complete it, that could basically make it a near impossibility, given the usual attitude of the way randoms work, because generally, if you're playing on a team, and it's just, uh, I guess it would be described as a pug, 
a public uh, lobby, you know, you don't really know anybody that you're playing with or all that stuff. A lot of the times people tend to be just a little bit greedy. They're more out for personal scores than they are for just making sure that the team wins. And that can provide a lot of infuriating situations, constantly getting poisons taken and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I just would rather not deal with that in Wolfpack. If I had to, I would rather play by myself than I than uh, play with uh, random people that I don't know. But enough about ranting off on that thing. Uh, basically, yeah. Assassin's Creed 3, better than Revelations. Whether or not it's the best, uh, I'm not entirely sure yet. I'm still sort of leaning towards Brotherhood being the better game, but um, I don't know, I guess I sort of have to just wait a little bit more, sort of uh, try and develop my opinions a little bit better, just sort of experience everything that the game has to offer, compare that to Brotherhood, and see if I like the game more. Um, but I think at this point, the real saving grace for Brotherhood has been its consistency. You don't have as much freedom in Brotherhood as you do in this game, but the freedoms in this game allow the inconsistencies that I'm talking about. So I would say that works more towards Brotherhood's advantage, it being a little bit more constricting than this game. But, um, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to talk about. I know I'm not going to be able to stretch this out to the entire video, but it's a 25-minute video. What did you expect? I mean, I have enough trouble doing 10-minute commentaries as it is. So doing something like this, it would just be nearly impossible for me in my current state. It would take me at least a million attempts to get it down right and you would be pretty much never see the light of day of this vid or this video would never see the light of day so this is the best i can do with what i'm presenting and i hope you guys enjoy it hope you guys enjoy the gameplay they're about uh i would say about eight minutes or so left and um yeah hope you enjoy the gameplay hope you enjoy the commentary and i'll see you later bye Killed. 
the extra target. New sequence reached. Extra time. New targets available. Triple multi kill. Kill the extra target. Target killed. Extra time. New targets available. You have been stunned. the extra target double multi kill new target available extra target killed extra time last sequence kill the final targets Targets available. Congratulations, your team successfully completed this Wolfpack game session.